I think my son gave that phone to Jerice. Like I said, I think that when I went to Christian Sandy's court and my phone was stolen that day, I believe Andrew Faulkner, Bobby Joe Champion, Keith Ellison put my son and Jerice up to it, like I said. And because Michael was in jail and they really put Michael through the ringer, my son's done. So I believe Jerice is answering that phone. I believe I've got six other phone lines that are extended to people that watch me. Like I said, and act like Keith. They got this walkie-talkie type Boost Mobile deal, 612-385-4522, from when Michael Cooper got me that phone. And then I said they followed me to Metro PCS. Then they followed me to T-Mobile, where right now my phone line is causing me some problems. Day one, Dr. Mahmoud from KMOJ told me they had brought my contract. They gathered a lot of money, and they brought my settlements. And with that, that means that because they brought them, those settlements were theirs, and I have to go through them. Thus, even the Minneapolis Public Housing Authority bill that they did not take me to court for. They had me removed for payment that they said I owed, but what they did not do was take me to court and have that assigned as a court debt. So when Alta Beast Kirk handed it to me, I said that was that bought debt that, like in Judge Sipkin's court, where Mezzarelli and Kramer, I told him that somebody bought my debt and was now using that debt to blackmail me and Judge Tipkins at that time did not stop it in the district court and that is how they have been again blackmailing intimidating and again struck my world everything I do is through my phone line I can't even uh, use a district court phone because there's no phones if you don't have a phone you're absolutely uh, uh, broken in this world today so I said that's how they broke me down day one KMOJ, Dr. Mahmoud, Q Bear, and the directors of KMOJ, where Keith Ellis and Bobby Joe Champion happened to be on that very board. Correct, Bobby, Charlemagne the God. You know, Bobby and Keith don't lie, do they, Kamala?